Hello food fans, we're going to have an inflation burger. These uh, meat prices, supposedly beef has gone up 10% in the last year. 10%. I should be so lucky. I think uh, beef prices have gone up about 100% depending on what time of day and what uh, day of the week you shop. These are third pound, one third of a pound patties, bigger than the quarter pounders. And there are four of them in this package. You got this at Aldi. And the price was $4.49 a pound, and uh, for this package of four, $7.14 was the price. And uh, that comes out to about $1.80 uh, per uh, burger that I will be making. I will be making two burgers, so uh, $1.80 plus $1.80, dollars And I'll have uh, Aroma Tomato. These are on sale at uh, Kroger. And I got them for 99 cents a pound. I'll also be using an onion as I prepare these. And I've got uh, some buns, the regular size hamburger buns. So this should be a pretty big burger that lofts over the side of the bun. And uh, those cost 89 cents at Aldi. I'll also be slicing up a bit of a potato which I will fry. I have my standard salad which uh, is always very good at lunchtime, so this should be a pretty good lunch. And actually the price for my inflation burgers will probably still come in under $3 per burger. So, let's get started! This hamburger patty meat is 80% uh, lean and 20% fat. I'm going to uh, chop up some potatoes here with it. I've got uh, some onions already chopped up in there. And I like fried potatoes, probably better than any other kind of potatoes. If you like, you can fix french fries. That should be just about enough to have a nice lunch there. And I'll let that cook for a while. Two patties, each a third of a pound. And uh, they will be big hamburgers, big inflation hamburgers, big inflation, inflation hamburgers, inflation burgers, inflation burgers, inflation burgers. I shall do a flip here with uh, each of the hamburger patties. Try not to make too much of a splash as we turn them over. I've got onions and potatoes in there cooking with the meat. Picking up some flavor in the process. Let that cook for a little bit and let the potatoes cook a lot more. And I will flip flop again. We're getting plenty of uh, grease fat there in which to cook the potatoes. If you are a uh, kid who does not like onions, don't put onions in there, you probably will develop a liking for onions later, maybe about the age 13, 14, you'll start enjoying onions and you'll even be drinking coffee without sugar in it. I will flip it one more time and I'll let the uh, Heat recede. Turn off the heat and let this uh, all cook for maybe four or five more minutes and be ready to serve. Well, food fans, it all looks pretty good, and I know it's going to taste very good. And what I'm going to do is mix up this salad I have in here. Cabbage, carrots, tomatoes. I have mayonnaise. I have relish, sweet relish, and ketchup. And I'll take a little bite of this to start the meal. This, I guess, would be a, a uh, good lunch. Very good lunch. I'll put the uh, first hamburger in 
onto the bun. And it is a pretty big burger. It overlaps the bun. Put that down here for right now. Or will I put it? I put it on top of the other bun. That can make a really good accident if I don't watch what I'm doing. And I put some ketchup on this hamburger. This looks like uh, something you might see in a drive-in movie theater on Friday the 13th, crawling between the cars. This is ketchup. And uh, always shake the ketchup so you get rid of the condensation. There's some ketchup on the burger. And uh, put some relish onto the burger. Which spoon will you use? Use this spoon. Relish on the hamburger. And I'm going to get some mustard. I didn't have mustard out because I don't use mustard in my salad. And I just got out the salad fixings, but I'll be right back with mustard. And I am back with the mustard. And we'll shake that to get the uh, water off of it. Got it right onto my uh, shirt. So I have uh, a little bit of oops, mustard there. Mustard and ketchup and relish, and I'll put some mayonnaise on the bun with the spoon. And this should all taste pretty good. And inflation is a real thing now. Every week when I go to the store, the supermarket, I notice uh, something is a little bit higher priced. And of course the gasoline, but that's the way it is. Inflation's been around for a long time. Very good. But you knew I was going to say my hamburger was very good. And the uh, potato that cooked in the grease with the onions. Parents don't let the kids touch anything that's uh, sharp or hot. This is good. The hamburgers cost uh, about two dollars and twenty-five cents, counting everything here. So under five dollars for this meal, including the secret dessert. It's a very, very thick hamburger. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I guess that to be you know, five eighths of an inch thick, more more than that maybe three quarters of an inch thick. Good, good, good. More salad. <clears throat> Let's talk a little bit about money. Some will be talking about show business, but some will just be money talking. Um, if you go somewhere where you do shows for free, work for tips, then the free part, and no inflation. It's been, if it was free in the 1950s and free now, it's still free, and it didn't go up or down. But if there's money involved, you get some salad. First money I ever made, made five cents, a nickel. My brother got a nickel, and I got a nickel for singing on the bus. We probably were singing either Deep in the Heart of Texas or You Are My Sunshine. We had a pretty good repertoire of 
songs that people liked and we would sing them on the bus. As I grew older, I would go around house to house and get jobs mowing lawns, make 50 cents for about uh, an hour of work mowing someone's lawn. Potatoes are good. Worked for a while for the fellow who owned the grocery store. They didn't have a supermarket near us. I don't know if they even had supermarkets then, but uh, the grocery store was about one-fourth the size of today's supermarkets. It was a big grocery store, but still not as big as today's supermarkets. My job and my brother, he and I would go work at the store for about an hour. We'd take potatoes and put potatoes into a bag until we had 10 pounds of potatoes. Then we would add one more potato. That was the requirement. Make sure the bag weighs 10 pounds, then add one more potato. I would do that with a 100-pound bag of potatoes. We probably have 10 of the 100-pound bags of potatoes. And then we filled up 10-pound bags of potatoes from the 100-pound bags. We got paid 50 cents each plus one watermelon to spare, to, to share. And as I got older, worked in the pool room for a while, and I got 40% of the take. If we got in a dollar, I got 40 cents, the owner got 40 cents, and then 20 cents was used for maintenance for the pool room. The owner was my uncle. Then, eventually, I got to be more or less one of the men, about age 14 or 15. And if I did any work for someone at their farm, I paid 50 cents an hour, and it was $4 for an eight hour day. Well, there was always a farmer who needed someone to work in the fields doing something. I was in Kentucky. Eventually, age 16, I started working at a gas station. I quit school when I was 14. And the uh, gas station started out at about 85 cents an hour. Worked 11 hours one day, 5 hours the next, and 11, then 5. No days off, no holidays off, no overtime. <clears throat> but it was a good job for me. I saved enough money with that job to go to California on my own, got my own place in California, renting a room in a hotel. And pursuing 
my entertainment career. First gig I had in California, paid nothing. I was on the uh, Make Believe Ballroom show. I was a comic. First job, I didn't pay anything. I was glad to get the chance to be on the air and trying to see how I would do as an entertainer. That was either late 56 or early 57. While I was in California, I started up my own record company, my own publishing company. Learned to play piano, made some records. Moved to New York, New York City. Had a job in a warehouse that paid about a dollar ninety per hour. While I was in California, I started out of the warehouse at a dollar thirty-five cents an hour. Then went uh, the wages. When I left there, about two years later. I was making a dollar sixty. McDonald's hamburgers came along about that time. They were nineteen cents. I don't think they had a Big Mac when they first started out. This is good. Moved from New York City to Las Vegas. Got a job in a warehouse in Las Vegas. I was paid about two dollars an hour. In 1961. Then I was uh, learning more about recording, going to recording studios, making recordings of songs, releasing records. Did my show business things on the weekend. Started playing piano at a piano bar. I also became a radio announcer in Las Vegas. Salad is gone. <clears throat> Got the hamburger patty. Put it on top of the hamburger. Mustard does not want to come out. There it is. So uh, on weekends in Las Vegas, I was working at a piano bar, and I was working at a radio station. And then I started doing extra work. Uh, no longer worked at the warehouse, and I was working as a movie extra. And I found that I really liked that. When I started working a lot of movies, and it turned out that I had a perfect schedule because I, all my work was on weekends. I left the weekdays open to work as a movie extra. Then I would work the radio station on weekends and the piano bar. 
and it's got a lot of grease on this burger greasy burger time for root beer They're so good. I think what I'll do when I get done here, I'll save the grease to add to some meal of something that I will fix. Maybe uh, some beans and macaroni. The potatoes taste good with a lot of grease on them. When I started working as an extra, I was in Las Vegas, and I was lucky to work a couple days a month as an extra. And the pay was about $62.50 to be an extra for eight hours on the show, but there almost always was overtime, so the paycheck would usually be more like $70 to $90. And I moved back to Los Angeles when I became a member of the Screen Extras Guild. And I did quite well in Los Angeles uh, working as a movie extra. By 1988, I was making about $91 for an eight-hour day as a movie extra. Then I got the job on Dear John. I auditioned for it. I, I didn't get paid anything for the audition. Usually, a union member gets paid for the audition. But I crashed the audition. I came uninvited, and I got the job. Good hamburger. Inflation burger. And dear John, it was a wonderful job. It paid me more money than I ever dreamed I would get. And it lasted four years. Then it ran another four years in reruns. And the money from the residuals of the reruns was more than the money I made when I worked on it. If you want to get into show business, get into it for the fun and you might stay and become someone who uh, is a producer, director, actor, whatever it could change your life financially I started with a nickel If you don't want to become an actor, don't. You know, do whatever it is that you want to do. Go where you want to go. Be what you want to be. Getting near 
to dessert time here. Thanks to all my new subscribers. And thanks to all the subscribers who've been with me for many years. We're past the 326,000 subscriber mark. YouTube, by the way, has been good to me financially also. I recommend if you've got a YouTube channel, put up at least one video per week, become a YouTube partner, put up the type of videos that your viewers want, not the kind your uh, friend or neighbor wants to see, although it could be that your friend or neighbor has the same uh, type of wishes for your channel that uh, will make it successful financially. This burger is messy, but it is uh, good tasting. Grease is actually a good flavor. I don't put a lot of flavoring in my food. Hamburger's gone. The last, last of the uh, potatoes and onions. There are people who make billions of dollars in show business. Usually they are producers. There are a few actors that make over $100 million. They're worth more than $100 million. Time for my dessert. Secret dessert is a pudding cup. These were gone from the store for a while and they made a return and this particular one I got at um, Aldi at the time I bought it it was about 20 cents per cup I think it was uh, 79 cents for four cups and I think it has since gone up a bit. Let me get my little spoon and uh, get some of the pudding off of the ceiling oil. Good pudding. This is the vanilla. Aldi's has vanilla and chocolate. Thank you for watching.